Today I want to talk to you about something that I really, really think will help you as women who are moving away and out of Blackistan and from all of these toxic threads and joggers. So, these two words, I haven't seen them put together yet. So I'm going to put these two words together for you and you can see right here in the title. We have what we, what I'm calling swirling pick niches out here. Yes, that's right, ladies. I said swirling pick niches. And you might say, well, what is a swirling pick niche? Well, it's a matter of both words being put together to explain what it is. Swirling, those who swirl, those who date out of their race. And pick niches, those who are doing whatever they can to get black male attention. Yes, that's right. They're trying to get the attention of these black males. Now, you know, we have different opinions on maybe the availability of certain types of males out here in the first place. But I can tell you for sure that someone who's swirling shouldn't really be worried about dealing with any males outside of that particular group, the non-black male group. If you're a true swirler, you're somebody who wants to date out of your race. Simple as that. I mean, it seems to me the problem is some swirlers are actually being greedy. Yeah, they're being greedy. They're dating non-black men, maybe just having sex with them, and then they're, well, to put it frankly, they're double dipping. Double dipping meaning they're getting some of their needs met with the non-black men, and they're also looking to get other other needs met by black men. And this is kind of whack, if you ask me. I mean, these kind of women have infiltrated divestment for sure. These women are sneaking around, being, you know, double-minded, double-dipping, and just double-crossing what it means to be divested and to swirl. And so we already know that swirling and divestment are not necess necessarily the same thing. I mean, there are women who swirl who would do anything they could to jump in the bed with a Fred or a Concord or a jogger. They would do that. Like, there are women who are sleeping with your Brads, your Jose's, your Mohammeds, and your Chung Lee's, and they would go right back to bed with Tyrone and any other lame that they thought came out of Blackistan as long as he had maybe a little money or maybe he even just looked in their direction. I mean, it doesn't take much. So with that, ladies, I don't want to, you know, discourage you from your beautiful, handsome kangs or anything, but I'll have to say that I'll take a pass on trying to date males who have already proven that they are extremely treasonous and I don't mean to me personally I mean just to us as a collective you know at some point people should be accountable for what they do as a group and that's the problem with most slack people in slacky stand they don't want to take accountability for anything as a group and there comes a time when you have to take accountability for what your group does and sure it'd be nice if people judge you as an individual only, but we know that that's not true. It's certainly not true for black women. And so I want to say to you, black women, subscribers, if you hear women discussing things that kind of lead you back to slack males and slacky stand, I want to ask you to consider why. Why at this point should you go back and try to use your, to use your peak? And I've told you that it means your presence, your energy, your assets, and your knowledge on a bunch of conquerors. I mean, this is ridiculous, and I absolutely don't condone this kind of thing. So, ladies, be sure that you know you are aligning yourself with people like me who really.
really tell you just what it is. You're not, you didn't come this far just to go back and have hope and look at a bunch of slack ass nobodies so that you can have a struggle love relationship. I mean, let's face it. We know that the majority of these couples are struggling in some way that actually we don't want to deal with anymore. And anyone telling us to go and find where is the black Waldo is delusional and misleading. So I would say to you ladies, please be sure this time that you don't get it wrong. Like there's not enough of these wonderful slack kings to go around. And even if there were, they had proven that they don't have enough loyalty to your kind as a collective for you to waste your time as an individual. This is pure logic, but again, this goes over the head of many women who want to, one, guide other women into ditches, and two, say what's nice just to please the grapes. And all I can say is, if you're a non-washing babe, you're a non-washing babe. And furthermore, I refuse to lie to you ladies like that. If I saw a lot of women who were walking around hopeful and actually having their hope fulfilled, then I would simply get on here and change my message. But that's not what's going on in society. You see, another thing, go by what you see. You don't see enough women being represented in real life, nor in social media or anywhere with healthy relationships that Slack, the best that Slacky Stan can offer you is a baby, possibly possibly the opportunity to become a mule. I mean, you know, we know how that goes. You have just a few good years, if you have any at all, with these slack-ass males, and that's it. There's nothing more. No one is going to give you a rose, a red ribbon. You're not going to win a gold medal or anything to congratulate you for your hard work in any of this. So, again, if you want to avoid being a swirling pygmesia, I suggest choose your plight in life. Either be a pygmesia and be done with it and let whatever happens to you happen uh, along with whatever goes on in slacky stand with these slack ass males. Or you can just choose to, I don't really, I mean, okay, what's, what's it mean to swirl again? <laughs> Let's just say you want to date interracially. I suggest you try that because it, when these words start getting blurred and they start to mean you can also look at the conquerors and the joggers, then it's really a waste of your time. Like, I don't want to waste your time, and you shouldn't want to waste your time. Don't waste your time, ladies. Fuck what you heard. Stop looking back at Slacky Stan and thinking that there's any opportunities back there for you. Because even the 1% chance that you might have, that might be that 1% chance that you could do something different that would be better, better for you. Take the road less traveled. This is what I promote and this is what I encourage for you. This is what I believe is the best solution to all problems for black women at this time. You know, the ones who have been in relationships for many years are basically having to deal with the problems that go along with catering to men who don't deserve it at this point. And these joggers don't deserve it, ladies. Don't make any mistake about that. Like, use your time wisely. There's nothing to go looking under rocks for. There's no hot peas and butter to play there's no searching for superman or anything of that nature there's no chasing unicorns we are not doing that that day is over with this is one of the things that i want you to clearly know that makes my channel different from all of these other channels i am not leaving room nor encouraging you to go back to a bunch of losers okay if you hear anyone discussing it from that angle i just want to encourage you to reconsider the source Okay, because that we've been through enough as a group. There's no point in it. And furthermore, even if you found that 1%, you would really have no one who would be happy for you except for your family members because everybody else is going to be looking at you as if you just bought into, it's like, you, it's like buying a car that's no good, you know, like buying a lemon. Basically, it's buying a lemon. And even if that lemon never manifests itself, there's nobody that's interested in riding with you through life with that in that particular car or that piece of shit <laughs> so again ladies swirling and 
this desperate attitude that is coming into this don't take that with you with to non-black males they they don't need that don't take the desperation of of slacky stan and blacky stan with you in dating non-black males and definitely don't take the mindset that you can always go back home you can't go back home and if you do you're gonna have a bunch of fools judging you disrespecting you disrespecting your offspring triggering you and all this other stuff that you don't need don't be a swirling pick me should don't be desperate don't look for a man to do for you anything that you can't do for yourself and then furthermore if you ask me you're the one who's doing the choosing so choose wisely but just realize that some options should be off of the table period i mean there's just no way you should go back and again you don't want to be a desperate pick me should. You absolutely don't want to be one of these women. You don't want to leave room for embracing what is already lost. And I just, I just think there's too many women walking around who are dating interracially, who are making room. If you ask me to backslide into back, Blackistan with a bunch of these joggers and Tyrones, I mean, there's no point in doing stuff like that at this point black women it's been proven that that doesn't work it's not the best route to go listen if you're one of my subscribers you already know you already know how i feel about this but every now and then i think you need to put things out there to clarify where you stand i'm putting it out there this is where i stand on my platform i do not encourage black women to go back out there and date these slack males and remember Everything that glitters is not gold. Like, they have all these little slack love sites on Instagram and Facebook and all of that. But it's, a, it's an illusion. Like, when I walk around, when you go outside, you don't see this. And even if you see it, it's usually tied to something inappropriate or basically I just don't believe in it at, at this point anymore. And I don't want women who are, uh, you know, delivered to really think that that's something that we have to take on because that's a bunch of bull when i look at these photos all i see is deceitful borderline lustful you know borderline <laughs> want to be happy as struggle love photos it's ridiculous don't believe this don't believe any of this and don't be a person who dates in interracial relationships and consider yourself keeping your options open to these males this is ridiculous like who would do that if you knew any better if you know better you shouldn't do stuff like that don't close the door and as far as i'm concerned on my platform the door is closed to freds there is no they are part of the the dating pool and the options that is mental craziness for any black woman at this point to sit there and encourage it or even feel politically like it's something that should be said to help black women find a partner like is finding a partner that deep or is having your life your health your strength your dreams your freedom to do what you want to do that those things mean more and i don't think having keeping these assholes in your options for dating it's not that important it's not significant enough that's un it's unfortunate that most people don't you know your families may not understand you or they don't get it that's unfortunate but absolutely no no swirling pick -mishes. no swirling pick -mishes. none no swirling pick -mishes. it's a bad idea the two things don't go together and a lot of people see it as oh well you know i'm just a swirler i'm just being politically correct fuck being politically correct i'll put it to you like this anyone who thinks that you can be a swirling pick -misha is probably a pick -misha and a traitor anyway so just keep that in mind those women are probably traitors and they're sleeping with the enemy anyway. You can't be both things at the same time and consider yourself very bright. There are women who are promoting this. That's, that has something to do with a different type of uh, recruitment for them. It has very little to do with trying to actually help you out as women. Okay, so I'm just going to put it out there. And again, 
be radical about this. It's okay to be radical about this. It's okay to be quiet about it. It's okay to say this is what I choose to do. And I'm not attracted to conquerors and I'm not opening my options up to them. You don't have to discuss it with those people who think you should because usually it's just a futile waste of time. Okay. The argument is just useless. So I don't get into a lot of these things with these women or and I don't suggest you do. Anyway, don't be a squirrel and chick nation. Black women forever. Like, comment, subscribe, donate, join my Patreon. I'm out. Oh, <laughs> my